Hey guys, I'm Nick. Today I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to talk to you about the best fish finder battery that I found over years of, well, finding terrible ones. And that's this Nakwa thing right here. We'll go into some details about it here in a minute. For the better part of a decade, like everyone else, I used like a pretty much deer feeder battery or just a regular SLA battery, 10 amp hour. They're pretty heavy, six, seven pounds. They last for a year, year and a half. They go out, whatever, spend 30 bucks to get a new one. No big deal. And I used a Hobie wiring kit that I had from a previous Hobie battery kit. You know, they made an awesome design. It was really one of the first packages ever out there for kayak fishing. It did a fantastic job. The battery, just like every other deer feeder battery, would last a year, year and a half, and it would quit working. No big deal. You just pull the terminals off, put it on a new one, throw it in there. But those terminals weren't waterproof. Like a lot of the new ones, they're still not waterproof because if any kind of condensation gets in there, and the kayaks heat up and they get cold, and you'll get condensation inside the kayak sometimes, and it causes corrosion. That's why this has a little bit of corrosion on it. But that's a problem and once you're going to do it every day or you just leave it in there for an extended period of time you're going to run into a few issues so in march of 2019 i was rigging up the new kayaks i actually gave a few of my batteries away and i was just out of them i had the same ones for years they were all through the garage there was like three hobie charging kits all kinds of stuff and i just ended up giving it all away with the kayaks that we sold last year and i was like you know what i'm really excited to try this thing and my goal was to find a solution that was waterproof that would have zero corrosion issues and well i found it this thing is made by a company called Nakwa adventure gear now yak attack just put their little logo on there and sold it to companies and made all kinds of money because they already had dealerships right but you can still buy this from Nakwa or yak attack and it's waterproof. The coolest thing about it is, you know, there's a suggestion video up here. Okay, that's how I did an unboxing of it. So check that out and show you how this works in detail. But it comes with a wire that connects to your fish finder batteries. And then obviously you just crimp those and put heat shrink over that. But we're going to use this as an example because I don't want to go outside in the garage. It's been raining all day and it's nasty out there. So you take this. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay, bless me. You take this guy from the kayak and it just goes in here like so, goes down, you tighten this down. Now you have a perfectly watertight connection with a little, little red gasket in there. I have kept this battery in my kayak since March. The only time I ever take it out is simply to take this out. I plug it into the wall with the charger. Then I put it back in the battery. I put it back in the kayak and it just sits there. It doesn't matter from inshore, offshore. Even if I don't take the fish finder or use the fish finder, I leave this battery in the kayak. And the only kind of corrosion on the entire system is right here. Now, it's been almost 12 months. I My kayak's in the water five times a week, every single week. That's all the corrosion. And one of the reasons is the inside of this thing, the battery itself is actually wrapped in plastic. Now, if you know anything about an Old Town uh, PDL, it has a battery bag in there where you can put your battery in a bag. I didn't even use it this year. I legitimately walk over to the kayak, I toss this in the front hatch, I secure this, and I'm done. I take it out, I charge it, but this thing lasts for three days easy. During snapper season, I would run my Garmin, which is like a 7SV or 7CV. I used both of them this year. I would run it for two to three days and never plug it in. Now, if I'm going to be out there for eight plus hours a day, yeah, I'd probably charge every day just to make sure, but I was only out there for three to five hours, so it wasn't a big deal. So you can easily get 12 hours out of this battery with no issues. That's running side scan. That's running GPS. This is the 10 amp hour version. Does a fantastic job. So for, I think it's 130 bucks for the whole kit, okay, which includes the wire to hook it up to the fish finder, heat shrink, and everything you need, and the charger. For 130 bucks. Now I've installed this thing on multiple people's kayaks. I just did an install for a guy of the day out in the garage. Obviously, I recommended this because it is really is the best solution out there right now. If I could find a better one, I would use it simply because I have to have a battery every single day of my life. This is it. This is the best option. I can't really, I'm telling you, I've looked. Uh there's a lot of companies out there that be like, our battery weighs half as much as a, the leading competitor or whatever. And I did some research as a minute ago. And their battery weighs 2.4 pounds. This weighs one pound. It weighs one pound. It is a three by three by three cube. That's it. It's a little three inch cube. That's all she is. This is all the room. She takes up no room. 
You just toss their places. There's actually guys who leave them on the front of the kayak, leave them on top of the kayak and just plug their fish finder in. didn't want to cut any holes, which I wouldn't do that. But it's that easy. Simple, nothing to it. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see it. I'll also put that link to the other video so you can see the unboxing. If you are looking for a kayak battery, I highly recommend you check this thing out. It's going to do you a great job. You're not going to have any corrosion issues and it's going to serve you well. If you have any questions or have an idea for our next video, drop it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.